case with some horn-rimmed glasses inside. We also looked for a certain undergarment of Mrs. Mannion's, but we didn't find it. Will the attorneys for both sides approach the bench, please? Mr. Beekler, you finally got your rape into the case, and I think all the details should now be made clear to the jury. Do you agree, Mr. Ludwig? Absolutely. What exactly was the undergarment just referred to? Panties, Your Honor. Do you expect this subject to come up again? Yes, sir. There's a certain light connotation attached to the word panties. Can we find another name for them? I never heard my wife call them anything else. Mr. Beekler? I'm a bachelor, Your Honor. That's a great help. Mr. Dancer? I was overseas during the war, Your Honor. I learned a French word. I'm afraid that might be slightly suggestive. Most French words are. All right, gentlemen. Back to your places. For the benefit of the jury, but more especially for the spectators, the undergarment referred to in the testimony was, to be exact, Mrs. Mannion's panties. I wanted you to get your snickering over and done with. This pair of panties will be mentioned again in the course of this trial. And when it happens, there will not be one laugh, one snicker, one giggle, or even one smirk in my courtroom. There isn't anything comic about a pair of panties which figure in the violent death of one man and the possible incarceration of another. Proceed, Mr. Beekler. 